how to create a Twitter advertising campaign to generate traffic focused on keywords. When you're in the Twitter ads manager, hit this black button, create campaign. Choose advanced so you get the most options. I'm going to set the objective in the middle here under consideration as website traffic. Hit next. We're going to name the campaign test campaign. I'm going to hit next. Group, test, add group. Budget and schedule, let's set a daily budget of $8 so that we can run it continuously over time throughout the entire year, run indefinitely. The goal can here be link clicks. And I'm going to set a maximum bid of 160. Instead of paying by impression, I'm going to pay by link click. I'm going to keep it as standard instead of accelerate it. Placements, you can choose whichever placements you want to go with. In this case, I'm just going to keep them all. I'm going to specify an age range of 25 to 49. So you notice that Twitter gives you pretty limited options here. Uh, but 49 is the closest to what I want. I would have gone with 45. I'm going to specify the language as English only. You'll notice it's just English. It's not English UK slash USA. I'm going to specify some additional locations. So it's defaulted here to the USA, but I'm also going to add the United Kingdom, Canada, Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand. Now, you could also go with countries where English is pretty close to a first language, where people are very competent. So, for example, I could put in the Netherlands here as uh, the strongest country for English. You could also put in the Scandinavian countries. So let's put in Norway, Denmark, Sweden. Operating system, all of these look fine. Nothing suspicious like television sets, so uh, not too much to worry about here. Uh, the targeting, so this is where it's going to get interesting. I'm going to specify that I want to target people that have searched a keyword Udemy. You can see that the global audience size is about 99,000. Um, not really interested in these. We could add an interest layer. But I, I think the size of the audience that we have already is, is narrow enough for my purposes. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, you can see they give you some retargeting options based on your account. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to name this ad actor because I paid an actor to create the ad. Somewhat like the Old Spice ad. That's my inspiration for this. Uh, creative type is media. You can see here that mine is just going to be single media, not a carousel. So it's just going to be a single video. I'm going to upload the video here. So I wasn't able to upload my video because uh, there's some restrictions here. I can only upload a PNG, a JPG, an MOV, or an MP4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the M4V video to MP4. I'm now running the converter. So I just found this free converter online. And once it's done, I'll upload the video. So I've created the MP4 file, but it's just going to take some time to download. So once that's done, we'll be ready. You see once again that Twitter is very strict and that the video was rejected to 16.9 aspect ratio. So I'm going to convert it to a 16.9 aspect ratio. While that's converting, what we can do is hit this back and row and take a look at the rest of the ad. So there's a sample of what the ad looks like on the right here. So here's the Twitter profile. There's some text below that. Here's where the, the video will show up. There's the website URL and a headline. So I just went ahead here and wrote some text. So Decker's Digital Marketing Masterclass on Udemy. And I'm just going to make a change here and say 2023. All right, so we have this new video in the right aspect ratio processing. I upload and processed a few videos. I'm going to select this one here and hit Next. And you can see that 
there was no real option to add the URL, the call to action. And this is one of many reasons that the Twitter interface is just a little bit behind other programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back, add one, and then we're going to add these details right here. So the headline, I'm going to say digital marketing mastery with Decker on Udemy. And we can preview how that's going to look uh, on the right here. Looks fine. I'm going to put in the URL. Let's copy the URL here and hit next. Now we can review all of our details if we wish to and then launch campaign. Now, occasionally what may happen is you try to launch your campaign and instead of this being black, it'll be grayed out. And Twitter, the interface really doesn't do a good job of telling you what you're missing. So you just kind of have to go back and try to figure it out. Uh, often what I see is the objective was set as not link clicks, but rather uh, website visits. But if you're sending traffic to a marketplace such as Amazon or something like that, you're not going to be able to do the website visits or install the pixel. Uh, so you just go with link clicks and that'll solve your problem. But uh, it could be some different issues. You just need to go back into your, your ad groups, your campaign, and, and sort out what the potential errors are. I'm going to go ahead and launch this campaign. And after launching the campaign, you can see that it's running here. It's uh, currently just titled on title campaign. The objective is website traffic and conversions. And you can see the spend is zero dollars at this point. And you can also compare it to other campaigns that you run. Uh, here's another website traffic and conversions campaign that generated about 3000 impressions. Here's a reach campaign, et cetera. So this is where you're going to monitor uh, how, how it's performing.